Hello everyone and welcome to another one of our unboxing videos. So this month we've got the board game Bento box. The, this month's theme was monsters. So I have no idea what's in the box. So uh, you will find out at exactly the same time I do. So uh, opening it up here. I always enjoy board game Bento's uh, boxes. They're really high quality boxes. They're nice for storage and um, they've got some fun designs on them. So here we go. So let me show you their little um, introductory sheet here. You can kind of take a look at that on both sides if you want. Pause the video. Uh, so what we've got, we've got Cthulhu's Vault by Jolly, Rogers, uh, Jolly Roger Games. Uh, collaborative in nature, players work to craft the story of a monster's ascent or defeat in the horror mythos universe of H.P. Lovecraft, one of my favorites. Um, during the mystery stage, players use story cards full of rich artwork to inspire a unique and fantastic tale of insanity and intrigue. Players acquire cultist tokens to determine who will awaken and become the Ancient One. Once the Ancient One is awoken by one of the players, the epic battle stage begins during which the other players assume the role of an investigator and must work together to defeat the Great Old One. That, that sounds like a lot of fun. I don't, I don't know that game, but I'm, I'm already looking forward to that. Um, they say that they snuck in an extra Cthulhu item as a token of our appreciation, a Cthulhu Meeple by Meeple Source. Um, that should be a lot of fun. Um, I haven't seen something cool like that before. Um, we've also got Ginger Dead House by Zafty Games. Um, I don't know that one either. Um, that one looks like it's a, it's a fairy tale one. We'll, we'll look at that. That's a pretty big box here. Uh, it says, set in the world of Grimm's fairy tales, you battle hordes of witches, ogres, trolls, and a slew of other assorted monsters that want nothing more than, than the destruction of your delicious gingerbread house. Monsters may not be the scariest foes you face, though, as you'll also be playing against other people who have the same goal as you. Survival includes the Walking Bread micro expansion, normally exclusive to convention. So that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> a small expansion for the game that's hard to come by. So that, that's a very nice addition to the box. Um, and then we've got Three to Four Headed Monster by Tasty Minstrel Games. Um, so in, in this game, each player controls the head of a very conflicted monster. Every round, players discuss who should be in control of the monster's legs. Once two players agree they'll be in control, they submit their cards, which are verified by a non-participating head, and everyone finds out whether the monster is looking for serenity or looking for a fight. Uh, the game's over when one faction, peaceful head versus destructive heads, manages to have control of the monster for too many rounds. Um, so let's look at, at each of these individually. Um, I'm not familiar with any of the games, so I'm really excited about this. Of the three um, games, Cthulhu's Vault, to me, sounded really cool. Um, I'm a big fan of H.P. Lovecraft. Um, I like these kind of um, collaborative or semi-collaborative uh, sorts of storytelling games. Um, so this one, to me, has a lot of potential. Uh, three to six players. Ages 10 and up, playtime 45 minutes. Um, this is one that, you know, it's normally just here, it's the geek profs, two of us. Um, so this one, we're going to need at least one more player, but I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. So we've got that. Um, we've got the Cthulhu Meeple here. Here you go. That And it's, you know, on both sides painted on both sides. So that's that's a really cool, neat little addition. Um, <clears throat> so we've got the Ginger Dead house right here. So this is the, physically, this is the biggest game in this month's box. A Grim Tower Defense board game. Uh -huh. And here you can get a clear sense of the back. If you want to zoom in and pause um, the video for that. Uh, so this one, uh, game contents, total of 205 cards, <clears throat> cards broken into three categories. There's one player deck that has 100 cards, an action deck of 25 cards, and a monster deck of 80 cards. There are also four boards that are included in the game, one for each player. The board is your field. Defense and monster cards will be placed on this field and will interact there. While each field is your own, many cards do allow for interaction with your opponent's field. Um, I really like fairy tales and the fairy tale theme. Um, I don't have too many other games that have a similar kind of theme, so that's a lot of fun. And then here we've got 
um, that kind of limited edition expansion. Um, so that's actually a really nice um, expansion for, for that. And then the third and final game that came in this month's box is, uh, I mean, physically a fairly small game, three to four headed monster. Um, it's a nice little slim card box. Um, <clears throat> 17 cards in this one so not a not a huge game but but collectively um i really like this uh this month's theme which is why i, I subscribed this month um I love monsters the and i knew that it, that one of the games is going to be a cthulhu themed game so that was very appealing to me personally uh so ultimately uh i can't wait to give these games a, a try and I, I hope that that uh those of you who um picked up this month's box i hope that you enjoy them too all right, thanks.